starting with expression braiding hair I'm using color 1B this is the original pack I believe it's like 84 inches I used a total of three packs cut in half once you cut each pack in half you're gonna have to take the time to separate and stretch um, stretching the hair is very important whenever you're gonna do braid styles because you want your ends to be um, natural looking you don't want them to unravel and you surely don't want them to be looking all blunt and crazy so it's important that you take your time when you're doing this part it's not sped up as you can see I'm going through each strand once you pick the strands with your fingers you can follow up with the Denman like I did or just use a paddle brush you just want to comb out any extra tangles want to make sure it looks very smooth you want to make sure that everything is ready and tangle free for your braiding process as you can see this is how it's supposed to look stretched and unstretched after you stretch your hair you want to go ahead and start separating your hair I'm using this new tool this is from Amazon um, it's new to me but not new to other braiders I've seen it all around it is a thread holder yes you heard me right it's a thread holder and pretty much you're gonna use this to place your separated strands um, on there it's going to keep your hair organized while you are braiding while you are styling your hair it's great to use for box braids it's great to use for these feed-ins especially when you need multiple pieces um, that range in size so I did enjoy using this and I can't wait to um, try it out and experiment a little further with it but um, so far yes I'd recommend that you guys get it if you want I will link it down below so you guys can purchase one for yourself before you begin braiding, make sure your hair is thoroughly cleansed, detangled, and blow dried. So many of you guys ask me, how am I able to part my hair? So, <laughs> take a look at my setup. This is literally what I do every time I am parting my hair when I'm not in front of the camera. I am in my bathroom looking in about two mirrors and I am taking the time to part my hair. This is real time, doing it real slow, but it works for you, girl. So first things first, you want to part a circle in your hair. Um, you're parting it in the, I guess I'll call this the crown of your head. Um, this is going to be the middle section in between your ponytail. Now I'm doing this step because I do not want tension in the middle of my head, especially when I'm wearing my ponytail, whether I want to wear it down or in a bun. Um, I prefer not to have um, any tender spots. So um, doing this is going to alleviate that. It's also going to help you as a guide um, so that way you could know which way you should part your sections for your cornrows. You're gonna do big and small, so it's gonna be acting as a guide for you while you're doing your feed and braids. As you can see, I'm just going along in the circle and using the end of my rat tail comb to make sure that this is the most precise circle that I could ever get in my life. <laughs> this is my first time attempting this style, um, so I wanted to make sure that I got it right. Once you're done, you're gonna go ahead and take your hair, you're gonna band to knot it up, secure it with a rubber band, and you're not gonna touch it. Um, this is the last portion of hair that you're going to braid, so you are not going to need it, put it away, and keep it out of your area <laughs> while you braid. Now that you're all done with that section in the middle of your head, you're gonna go ahead, take your rat tail comb, and you're gonna begin parting your hair for your um, little big cornrows. So I'm starting off with my small cornrow just to act as another guide. This is going to be one skinny one right in the middle of my hair because as you guys know, I got that little ball spot there and I don't want it to be uber visible. So I need one braid to at least kind of cover it. Okay you guys, so once you are about to braid your hair, make sure that you detangle that section really good. I want to share something with you guys. I slathered on a bunch of gel on each side of my head um, because that's what I see on Instagram. That's what I see on other braiders doing to their clients. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I need to add a little bit more gel so I can really master the stitch technique and all of that. But 
I tried that and maybe I don't know maybe I didn't have my grip right but it was not working so I had to comb out my hair and kind of get rid of some of that gel and leave it a little bit drier it's really weird um, y'all comment down below if your hair operates better when you have less product or more product in it um, this is something that I didn't really think about and um, I'm kind of glad that I know now so in the future I can control how much product I'm using and how much I'm not back to the braiding as you guys see I started off my cornrow with my natural hair then I fed in a really small piece of that braiding here um, I'm just gonna keep doing this until my braid is completely full you guys I'm using expression braiding hair this is my first time using it um, I've heard so much about it from so many other braiders and I see a lot of other braiders only using this hair um, so I wanted to check it out I wanted to try a new style a new hair and I'm not mad at it the hair to me was fairly easy to detangle it was easy to stretch and something that I noticed is that it doesn't stick out in my braids some other braiding hairs they use they they're kind of frizzy um they don't lay that well this i didn't have any issues like my hair like is laid so maybe it's the crimp in this hair i don't know what it is but whatever it is i like it i will be trying it again um maybe for some box braids to see how that works out but i definitely enjoyed it for these feed ins it wasn't slipping like how um sometimes my my other hair that i have used does slip um and it looks natural like look at this it's not too shiny it's not too like kinky and it still blends with my hair um once you feed in your hair <laughs> you're going to go ahead and make sure you braid all the way down to the ends and yes i did dip my ends for this style you want to make sure you do that unless you're adding some beads or something like that Another thing that I'll say about this hair is that it stays together pretty well. Um, it didn't unravel or get super tangled while I was braiding. My fingers weren't really burning or anything like that. Wasn't any snapping happening, so pretty impressed. All right, let's move on to the next braid, you guys. Here is that circle that you saw in the back of my head. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a tiny glimpse. Like I said, I use it as a guide to do this style on my head. You guys might remember I did have a braided ponytail style done by Miss Kia in Cerritos, um, but it was with yellow braiding hair from Rasta Free. Um, this time I wanted to try the style on myself. I didn't think that I could do it, but I did it and I love it. I'm so very impressed and I will be doing this style again. Um, something I'm going to tell you is that mastering the amount of hair that you're going to add to each cornrow is definitely going to take some patience. The number one thing I'll say is always start with a small piece and make sure each piece just gradually gets bigger. Um, I think I used about eight to nine pieces for each braid. And the feed-in method that I'm doing, I'm just taking the hair and I'm putting it between my pointer finger and my thumb. And then I release the other side with my pinky and then I grab it and then I feed it in. Um, I definitely prefer this method um, I haven't really mastered some of the other methods that you got to do um, but something I will say is if you're doing feed-ins make sure you're just keeping all of your strands tight and close together you don't want it so tight that it's pulling your hair but you want to make sure that all of your pieces are you know nice and taut if that's the correct way to pronounce it but you want to make sure it's nice and you know firm and all pulled together and as you can see right here I just pulled everything back together it started loosening up as you guys know I cannot do any braid video without adding gel or some kind of product to my ends I have to make sure it blends in very well um, I applied Trust Flora's um, molding pomade to the ends of my hair and then I just started adding in braiding hair to that braid. Now I did this because you're sometimes some braids are going to be longer, some braids are going to be shorter, so you may need to add an additional one or two pieces past 
the actual part that you're cornrowing. And this is just to ensure that your braid is, um, all of your braids are all the same length. Now, once you've got all your pieces added, you're gonna go ahead and make sure you take a comb, smooth off your hair, blend it in with the other braiding hair, and move on. Now, to the middle section of my hair. I just parted it into three squares. Um, I could have done four, but I just did three because I guess I was being lazy or something. But you're gonna take your gel or wax, you're gonna apply it to each section that you've parted off. The reason that you're gonna put some individuals here is just so that way your ponytail is full. Your ponytail will look kind of scraggly and it, will look, it won't look full. So if you want a nice full looking ponytail, you can go ahead and add some box braids here. Um, and I'm glad that I did because I was able to take one big box braid and use it to wrap around my ponytail like a little genie style um, so I just took um, my section of expression braiding hair and I went ahead and started braiding it with my hair like I said guys it braids very well didn't really deal with too much tangling um, when you apply your product to your hair um, you can kind of keep everything together so that helped the box braid and everything look really uniform and neat I am so in love with this hairstyle. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, Y'all comment down below. Let me know if you guys want me to try any other styles that you've been seeing because I am definitely down for the challenge. Here is the back, you guys. It took me over two hours. I struggled for two hours trying to do the back. Yeah, y'all, the struggle was real. No, I'm not perfect, but everything else came out great with this style, <laughs> except for the back. But I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go back into the drawing board and I'm gonna keep practicing, keep trying, and y'all gonna witness it here on my channel. First, I will be braiding the back of my head soon. <laughs> y'all, stay channeling the beauty that's within inside of you. Do not give up on your hair or your abilities. I'm out.